Hey everybody, I'm Zach. And I'm Jesse. We're gonna be reviewing this e-long board <laughs> next on Now Let's Review. All right, so we got the WowGo 3E e longboard to review here. We got lots of fun things to talk about. Let's jump right in. So if you go to their website, the MSRP is $599, but if you use our affiliate link, which is down below, I think I saw it for $449. So definitely if you're interested at the end of this review and you wanna get it, use our affiliate link, that'll save you some money. So there's some different options uh, it's based on the wheel sizes. We've got the 90 millimeter wheels. You can also get the 105 millimeter wheels, but they also sell a pack where you get both sets of wheels for 20 bucks more. Might be worth looking into since uh, that way you'll know which ones you like and when you wear out a set of wheels, you can switch to the other ones. And the other thing about the wheels is you could go looking for some harder wheels and that's gonna mean that it's you know gonna be a little bit slipperier, but you might end up with a larger range. A lot of people watching this are gonna be beginners and that's totally fine. Yep. I mean, by beginners, I don't mean you've never ridden a board. Maybe you have like as a kid, I you know I did as a kid. But and they then, didn't have e-long boards. Exactly, and so as you get to the middle part of your life and you're like, well, this is a lot of work. But now that they've come out with this, you're like, can I do this again? And you can, um, but, you might wanna get this board first, experience it, and then decide like, is my commute full of like little potholes and bumps and so I like the soft wheels or do I need as much range as possible and I can go for the you know the harder wheels because I've got a smoother ride. Now these 90 millimeter wheels are pretty big. I think for, if you're used to regular long boards, these are gonna be a bit larger and the 105 millimeters are gonna be even bigger than that. And one of the things about these is that they are very, very, very soft. Yes. Um, that's gonna give you a lot of good grip. It's also gonna absorb some vibration. It's not great for range, but as sold with the soft wheels, 21 kilometers, which is 13 miles, which is pretty darn good for an e-long board with such a small battery. Yeah, now I read hundreds of reviews because we did our own range testing, but I like to see what other people are getting and almost everyone said the same thing. They were getting about 20 kilometers of range. The other cool thing about it is, um, because this is electric, right, and you got a battery, when you get to the bottom of the battery pack, a lot of times you experience what's called voltage sag. What is that? It means that it's not able to power the motors quite the same way, and so you don't get the same acceleration or top speed. Right, I mean, so on a cheaper one, you get at the end of your ride, when you get down to say like 20 or 10% battery, you get kind of this non-peppy, non-fun ride. What I've been experiencing with this board is that even down at 10%, you're still getting good voltage. So you're still, it's still fun to ride right up until the end. Now, if you're wondering while you're on your ride, am I gonna be not knowing where my battery's at? There's a display on the controller and you can see both your controller's battery and your board's battery, which is awesome. The other thing I wanna point out to beginners is that I think the fear a lot of people have, I'll just talk about me that I had, was that I'd hop on this thing and not really be able to, the learning curve would be too steep. Mm. You can set this to kind of beginner newbie mode, low power mode, where it only goes up to, I think 10 miles an hour. Mm -hmm. And the acceleration curve is a little less peppy but that's great for learning. And I've read that a lot of people are just keeping it in that mode. They really don't wanna go 28 miles an hour, which by the way, is the top speed on this wow. thing. And I gotta say, 28 miles an hour feels really fast on an e-bike. Yep. I have never approached that on this. Um, that's for really experienced riders. And I just wanna stop here and do a little PSA. Please, please wear a lot of protection, not just head, but think about your knees, think about your elbows, think about your wrists, because when you fall off this thing, and you probably will, yep. especially if you're going fast, uh, you are gonna get banged up. Yeah, I know that we've all you know, gone downhill as a kid, and you get going, and you think you're going 400 miles an hour. Um, you can achieve those same speeds, not 400 miles an hour because you were wrong as a kid, but you can basically achieve those downhill speeds on flat ground, uh, going 28 miles an hour on this board. So do consider that, um, you know, uh, those times where you were going downhill, you know, it was thrilling, uh, but you could have gotten seriously hurt. And same thing is true on an e-long board. So do take safety precautions, do be careful, and, you know, work yourself up to that point. Um, again, the graduated system of, you know, setting it level one and getting used to it is a good idea. Now, I think a lot of people got into this idea of electric long boards when they saw Casey Neistat doing it in New York. And at the time, there was only like one or two companies like Boosted, and they were wicked expensive. They're well over a thousand, more like $2,000. And so I think a lot of us just forgot about it. Now that these are down in the $450 price range, I do think you can, again, if you're living in an urban environment, think about commuting on this. I think that commuting is a great option with this because depending on where you live, this could be faster than taking a car somewhere. Way faster. Because, I'm just thinking of like New York City, yeah. you're gonna get there way before a car or a train. And that's because you're skipping traffic and you're able to take, you know, take back alleys, you're able to go through the park, um, you're able to take a more direct line route to get somewhere. And I think that that's really the great part about e-mobility, especially micro e-mobility like this. this 
is pretty much one of the smallest pieces of something that can get you going 28 miles an hour you can get. Now, if we're talking about commuting, then I really like this. This feature here is the handle. Not all e-skateboards have them. They were in in the very beginning and then they were out. <laughs> I kind of like that they put it on this model. Um, I like that it's centered so that you have a center of gravity lift. And so you can pick it up, but it has another hidden feature. And that is you can use this to lock up your board. Yes, I've read a lot of reviews where people love their board for a few weeks and then someone stole it. Um, this is a great place to, to lock it. The other thing I want to point out is heavy. Okay, so it's not your skateboard from when you're a kid. There's, there's motors and batteries on here. So this is seven and a half kilograms, about 16 pounds. Um, and so if you are using it for a commute, just keep that in mind that it's, it's like a heavy briefcase. Sure, um, but I think that if you're the kind of person who's gonna be commuting on this kind of thing, it's gonna be no big deal for you to you know, run up a couple flights of stairs with it. Another feature I like is that when you put it on its tip, like while you're waiting for a train, uh -huh. um, instead of it sitting on the plywood, it's actually sitting on the plastic. There's like two millimeters of plastic that protrudes on both ends. And so that's gonna take the abuse and not the board itself, huh. which is kind of a cool feature. Yeah, it's an interesting design. They actually increase the height of the board um, by sticking these little plastic spacers in there. And so, yeah, you have a much higher resistance plastic. All right, so let's get into some stats. It comes standard with a nine month warranty. You can add a three month additional warranty on for 20 bucks. So be thinking about that. Mm. So WowGo has warehouses in the EU, Australia, United States, and China, which is really cool because if you're say here in the US and you order something normally from China, it comes from China and it takes weeks and weeks. Here, it's gonna come in two to seven days. So that's pretty cool. And also that means they can offer free shipping. So it's got a seven inch RKP bridge with 90A bushings. A lot of people said that this doesn't turn well and so they've loosened the bushings and then a lot of people said that they came too loose and they tightened the bridges. So it's really up to you, but that's all adjustable right here. And so get if you're a beginner especially, just get it and ride it and see what you think before you start making adjustments. But you can also replace the bushings with something that's gonna be a little bit softer, which exactly. is gonna allow you to do a little bit more turning. Um, now the reason that they're gonna stick to a little bit more stiffer ride is so that way you don't like start drifting right. with your board the first day you get it. Right. The board itself is eight layers of Canadian plywood maple, which is nice. And you might notice that there's this soft, um, it's not just tape stuck to the board, there's yeah. foam underneath it. That's the first I've seen that. And that is to absorb bumps. So everyone that I've read reviews from, including ourselves riding it, found it very nice and absorbing. Hmm. Um, so I think that's just an, a really cool feature. So it means that not only is this board concave, which is nice, um, but it's also very flexible and it's really grippy. Speed is 45 kilometers an hour or 28 miles an hour. You don't have to go that fast, but that is the top speed. And that is eight miles an hour faster than their other board. So, I mean, if you really want speed, this is a speedy board. Yeah. And that is achieved by having two 650 watt motors. Yeah. Um, so that is over 1200 watts of power. Yeah, they added 100 watts each from the 3X, now going to the 3E. So, I mean, having power is good because let's talk about why you need the power. You don't need it just for top speed. You also, when you're going up hills. So this can handle 20 to 25% slopes. Now, the max rider weight on this is 330 pounds. I think it all depends on your weight and what the hill climb is. But from what I've been seeing and what our testing is, uh, it handles hills really well. Now, when we're talking about top speed, the next thing you're gonna wanna talk about is braking. And you might be saying, well, it's a longboard. Isn't the brake my shoe? Uh, no, because you can apply brakes. So to demonstrate the brakes, oh no. <laughs> nice. And as you can see, it comes to a stop. So what it's doing is it's locking up the rear motors and preventing it from turning. So you'll see, it's actually pretty hard for me to turn. That means that you actually have brakes using your hand, um, yeah, which- It's gonna save your foot. It's gonna save your, it's and gonna your save, you, save you on uh, sneakers for sure. Um, and it could also save your life because having brakes when you're going 28 miles an hour is a must. And being able to keep both feet on the board while you're doing that is also really nice. The battery is a 216 watt hour, 43 volt battery. As we talked about before, really good at having no voltage sag when it gets to the lower end. The charge time is two and a half hours, generally from zero to 100, but probably a little bit less because you're probably not gonna go to zero and you may not go to 100. And the size of the board is 97 centimeters long, 22 and a half centimeters wide, and 13 and a half centimeters high off the ground. Now, we talked a little bit earlier about brakes, um, but I think it's really important to talk about uh, speed control. This is not an on off kind of thing. I'm able to actually control how fast I want the board to go with this really nice thumb wheel. So I can get it going pretty slow. Let's see how slow I can get it going. And so I can get it going 
that fast. That's awesome. And so everything between that and 28 miles an hour is achieved by this remote control. Now, one of the things I think people hate is pairing, right? Ugh. Pairing your headphones to your stereo, whatever, <laughs> like everyone hates it. What's beautiful about this is because it's dedicated, you don't have to sit there with your phone or an app or anything, just out of the box, turn them both on, it pairs within, I'd say, what, a second? Mm -hmm. So that's awesome. Uh, makes it just fun to ride. I have read a bunch of people's reviews saying that when you do pair it, sometimes the speed settings don't match what you left it at. So if you were in speed setting one and you come back, it might be in speed setting three. So just check that. The other thing I love is when you walk away from the board, instead of having to remember, oh no, an hour ago I left my board and I forgot to shut it all off and it's been burning battery, it shuts off after like a minute or something. So you don't have to think about that anymore. You just walk away and it shuts itself off. Another thing about the controller is that if you lose or break the controller, you can get another one and it doesn't have to be this exact one. You don't have to go to WowGo necessarily to get it. Um, this uses an E-Wings controller, and that means that basically any E-Wings remote will work with this. This means also that if you hate this controller for whatever reason, I think you'll like it, but if you wanted a different one, you can actually pair a different remote with this board, um, which I think is really nice. Yeah, and let's talk about the remote. It sits really nicely in the hand. It has really easy to read display. Um, and so everything about this is nice. On some of our other earlier models, I, they felt kind of cheap, but yeah, this feels really nice. Yeah, the wheel is really good. Uh, having a thumb wheel gives you a lot more granularity. It really allows you to plant your thumb on the controller and allow you to have a lot of granularity in what you're trying to do. One thing I do wanna point out, a lot of people get hurt because they get on the board and it was left in, let's say, reverse and then they're ready to go, and the board goes out from under them. So just double check before you're, you're launching yourself that you're in the right mode. The other thing is the board comes with a forward arrow to let you know in which direction it's going to go. Um, but if you mess that up, it's not gonna be going in the right direction. Right. So here's what comes in the box. I like that it comes with some tools so you can do some of the adjustability even if you have no tools. And, and this then, comes in the box, some yeah, stickers. Some stickers. <laughs> so. If you want to customize your board or your laptop, you get some stickers. How fun. Uh, they all say wow go on them, except for the uh, little astronaut doing the dab right there. That's cool. All right, so uh, pros and cons. I really have nothing bad to say about this board. I don't think it's probably meant for your top of the line riders. I think if, you, you know, if you're ready for the baddest board in the world, this may not be for you. But I think for beginners and intermediates, this is an awesome choice. Especially in the price category. Yeah. This is fantastic. You can't go wrong. And I mean, I just want to say I read over 200 reviews. Every one of the reviews was glowing. Everyone was like, this is fantastic. I think a lot of you watching are like me, who used to ride a board as a kid and just thought that was the end of it. And I think this can bring you back into board riding. Yeah, I mean, if you don't have to worry about hills, if you don't have to worry about kicking, if all you're focused on is the fun of uh, riding and carving, then you're gonna enjoy it. And, and it's fun. It I mean, fun. it really is fun. I think you're gonna get a lot of fun out of this. So yeah, especially for the price, I, I think that they did an amazing job. Yeah, remember use our affiliate code so that you can save all that you can. And uh, thank you so much for watching everybody. Let us know down in the comments what you think about the board, questions that you have, and also let us know things you'd like us to review because that's what we're here for. All right, we'll see you guys next time on Now Let's Review.